Hey guys, since there are a lot of new uh, headsets coming out over the next couple of years, I hope at least, I thought I will show you and um, try to guide you on how you can implement a new headset because the thing is we don't own every VR headset out there and we most likely won't ever be able to own all of them although I really <laughs> want to do that but I think it is better I'm going to show you what steps you need to do in order to implement a headset so this way you can just implement it um, your own. I can do the basic implementation here for example um, I'm going to do it with the um, Vive Cosmos but I don't have the headset here so I'm not able to do a very good uh, controller mapping but I can show you all the necessary steps and the last step you need to do is just find a controller mapping you like and save it in a preset. Okay so let's start off by opening the game instance and in there we have a function called get hmd. So this is one of the first things that happened if you open up the project in VR. And what he's trying to do here is he gets the HMD device name. So this is really your headset. In the case of the Cosmos, it will be SteamVR. And SteamVR is the most tricky part for all of them because if you're using an Oculus, you just get this screen name. If you use the PlayStation VR, you get these. And Windows Mixed Reality, you get these here. But for Steam VR, there are a couple of different headsets. And there are a couple of different controllers. So for example, we have already implemented the Knuckles controller and the old Vive Vans controller. And the Cosmos controllers would also be from the Steam VR. So we need to go in there. But first, for the headset you are using, go in there and print a string to really see what Unreal gives you here. So let's do it this way and put it in here. Compile, play in VR. So do a VR preview. I don't have the Cosmos in here, so this will not be doing anything right now. But go ahead and do this. And the name that was actually the result here, we need to add it to the enum. So that's the next step we are doing here. HMD enum. So we are going to add this here. So I'm also going to add the Cosmos in here. But as I already tested out, this will be Uh, this will be SteamVR, so let's add Cosmos in here and just for the matter of sake, let's collect it in here. So this will go to the same, but now the user knows, ah, okay, here's the Cosmos name and this will go in there. So this would be more useful for another kind of headset. So let's open up the differentiate Steam controllers because this is the interesting part. And for the Cosmos controllers, I also went in there and printed a string, connected this one up here. And the result I got was, uh, let, me, let me actually check. So the result I got was this Vive Cosmos controller. So, what I'm going to do next is add the Cosmos to our outputs here. So we create a new output, an execution pin and call this Cosmos. So this one will be called if we find the term Cosmos in, in our string here. So let's do another check here. Search in there. And this time we search for the string Cosmos. And since this is inside the name here, it will t um, result in true if we find it. So let's not go in there, but first check if we find the term Cosmos. If yes, 
it is a Cosmos controller, and if no, it's our old Vive controller. Actually, let's switch those here so it's more more cleaned up. Okay, so we can remove the string again. And just to make sure, if we don't find any track device models, this is empty, we say it's no HMD. But if we find one, we check if it contains the name Knuckles. If so, we set it to Knuckles. If not, we check again if it finds the string Cosmos. And if so, we set it to Cosmos. And if none of those have been found, it must be the old Vive controller. So we set it to Vive. Okay, we're good to go there. So let's go back. And here we have the execution pin we just created. And what we want to do is set the HMT HMD to Cosmos. So I'm just going to copy this and set the HMD to Cosmos and hit compile. Okay, the next thing we actually want to do is we want to change the mesh. So in order to find this, we are going to open up the find and blueprints and we search for change controller mesh and open this up. And this is inside our motion controller. So this is just our default one. And of course, if we want, if we are playing with the Cosmos controllers, we want this to exchange automatically to the Cosmos controllers. And we already have made the automatic detection of the headset here. This was this part. So we already know that we have the Cosmos. So now we can go into the graph here. Here we have our Cosmos. And I'm going to copy this set controller mesh and connect this with our Cosmos. So in here we can now set the left controller to the to the Cosmos controllers and the right controller to the Cosmos controllers. And we are good to go. I don't have them in the project right now, so. I'm going to skip this part here, but here you would insert your left controller and your right controller. Okay, so the next thing we need to actually do, let's actually check what's happening here. Controller mesh, set static mesh and set material. Okay, perfect. The next thing we want to do is actually go into our VR pawn. And in there we have the component controller. And if we open this up, you can see we have presets for Oculus, PlayStation, um, no HMD and Windows Mixed Reality. And we can add a new one. Uh, that's not working because we have the default one here. So what is the default one? I think this one here. So let's set this to Cosmos. So this is working. So for no HMD, we actually don't need any mapping at all. And here for the Cosmos one, we want to create a new one. So I'm just going to open up the folder and duplicate a preset. I'm starting with, with the Vive preset. I think this fits best. Controller VR. Cosmos preset and open it up. And this is the first part you actually need to go in there and really define what you want to happen. So here you can define, well, actually we have a complete tutorial about what you do in here. The thing is for the Cosmos, we don't have these face buttons, so I could get rid of them don't need them and I really need to check what we have I know we have a trigger we have a grip we have I don't think we have a thumbstick so we could also delete those so just get rid of all of those here and let's start off with a trigger to select the grip 
to actually grab. You can search for Unreal Engine 4, 5, Cosmos controller mapping. And maybe we find a nice picture about the Vive Cosmos controllers. Okay, we have a thumbstick. So this is already working. Menu button, Y button, X button, A and B button. A, B, X, Z. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can also use the thumbstick and we have the trigger, grip button. Okay. So we could also go in there and say, for example, okay, we want to use the thumbstick up to teleport. And let's do the same one for the right controller. Thumbstick up to teleport. And yeah, I think this is good enough for now. And the last thing you actually need to do is open up your project settings and go into your input, open up the action mappings and the action mappings are all the buttons you have on the controller. So for example, we have the, um, where do we start? We can start with the trigger left, motion controller trigger left. So you can see for the Vive, for the Oculus, it's already in there. Let's add a new one. Call it Cosmos Trigger. And this was the left side, so we have the Cosmos left trigger. This would call the trigger left. We do the same for the right one, add a new one, search Cosmos Trigger right. And you can do this for all the different buttons. So for example, we can map the face button to the, on the left side, let's actually check the image again. So on the left side, face button one would be our X here. So I can add this Cosmos X press. And for the right side, it would be our A button. Uh, press. Okay, now we can go in there. We have for left and right, we have mapped it so we can Face button one is now mapped and I can, for example, while it's the right hand, we can open up our radial menu there. And on the left side, face button one, we could, we could do a ping. And save this. And yeah, basically you go through all of the different keys you have on your controller. And don't forget to actually go in there and also map the axis. Let's do it for the trigger here. So let's add the trigger axis. And this is the left side. Trigger Cosmos, trigger axis left. And let's do the same for the right side. So we add the Cosmos trigger axis for the right side. Okay. And let's do the same for the grip. Cosmos grip axis left. And Cosmos grip axis right. So this should be working. This should also be working. And we can do the same for the thumbstick left. Cosmos thumbstick X left. Uh, 
and let's do the same for the y-axis cosmos left axis thumbstick y thumbstick left y thumbstick well left y and let's do the same for the right one so you can see it's it's a lot of um yeah repetitive work here so let's go in there and actually i'm going to uh, skip the rest of this tutorial you see what i'm doing here and basically this is everything you need to do in order to set the um, to set a new project up. So I think it's very straightforward. And if you have any problems or even better, if you want to share some of your cool data asset presets, it would be really awesome if you would share them with the community. So thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.